The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Preaxer Zemium Fungicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. Back again today with Matt Chapel from Pride Seeds. Matt, how's it going? It's going well, Bern. Awesome. Hey, it is late August now, and uh, you know I always hear this conversation about hey, soybeans make grain in August, and I, I think it's really true. And you've got a really interesting story here. You got two different majorities, but a very different story. A very different story is true. So we planted these the end of May, right? Not bad growing conditions. It's been okay. Rotated mm -hmm. ground. Uh, we did some light tillage in this site, and things got out of the ground in seven, eight days, okay? Uh, so some pretty noticeable plant height differences right now at this point. Now, if we really want to understand our potential between these two maturities, Burn, we really got to look at what growth stage are we at? Well, this 1.7 maturity bean, it's got some pretty well-developed pods right from the bottom to the top mm -hmm. of the plant good seed formation, right? So really we would call that about an R5 growth stage already. Very few new pods or flowers still developing on that plant. Now we look at this 3.0 maturity soybean. Holy smokes, there's a lot going on there. Yeah, we got longer nodes. Yeah, we got more branching, but there is a lot more pod and uh, flower development still going on. Still to go. Yeah, so we're about a growth stage behind, right, R4. Um, R4 versus R5 in terms of how much yield potential have we set? Well, this R, R4, 3.0 maturity soybean, has only really made about 25% of its yield potential right now. So still susceptible to disease, mm -hmm. susceptible to further drought stress that might shrink up uh, seed size, and also, you know, we're susceptible to maybe not forming good pods from all these late yeah. flowers, right? These are still, we could, debort, we could abort these yet. But tremendous opportunity too, right? Tremendous upside opportunity, you know, if, if Mother Nature rewards us on the back end of the season. The 1.7 maturity soybean, being already a growth stage ahead and that much closer to the finish line, about 10 days closer to the finish line, mm -hmm. Really, we've we've made our we've made our yield. Yeah. We've made 50 percent, or maybe slightly more, of our yield potential already, being on the pod and seed formation on this variety. Yeah. So maybe less open to disease coming in at this point, but maybe seed size is less dependent on a drought or dry conditions, but also not the same upside potential with this. 1.7 yeah. maturity group bean versus the 3.0. So talk about the difference on yield potential and what needs to happen for both of these varieties to reach their potential and get to the finish line. Yeah, so a one inch rain right now in the next week, big seed size, you're gonna get the most that you're gonna get out of mm -hmm. this. A one inch rain, man, this is gonna be the difference between some of these making good full pods at the upper clusters of the plant versus kind of being what they are, yeah. right? So far greater upside potential with a disease-free, stress-free ending to the season. Uh, and, and not only water, you know, we got to look at, you know, what does the temperature and daylight do now? Uh, we know how photosensitive uh, our soybeans are, and when day length shortens, though, these, these guys get told to tune it down tune a bit down. and drop some leaves. So, I mean, drought stress often late in the season can can fool with the plant a little bit. You know, it's still trying to produce mm -hmm. photosynthase, it's still trying to finish out the plant. Whereas if we have some cold weather thrown in there with drought stress, it may just end it and we lose some top end potential, but we still have, you know, probably 10, 20% 20 more potential, potential versus 10 days earlier maturity. Mm -hmm. So all this, what does it tell us about, I guess, our, our choice of maturity, choice of varieties. I mean, if we, if, we, we, if we want to take on a little bit more risk, but look for opportunity, should we be planting the longest bean we can for our majority? Most definitely. We got to maximize our growing environment and, and our opportunities for our area. I mean, we always talk about finding the right hybrids for an area. 
just as important to maximize our growing season with our soybeans because far greater upside potential to still make more, make those beans in the month of August rather than be, you know, rushing to the finish line mm. right after Labor Day when we have a lot of season ahead of us. Exactly. Hey, great insights, Matt. Awesome. Thanks for joining us on Soybean School. Thank you, Darren.